Hey, what is up guys? Thanks for joining me again. On today's video, we are going to be doing another Digimon deck profile. So this here is a purple deck that I've actually designed. Definitely really nice. Playing pretty much one of the best starters that you could actually play, or rather one of the best Digi eggs out there, and that is Demi Merrimon. Honestly, this card is actually becoming quite a staple in almost every single deck I'm playing. It's just such a good card. But with that being said, uh, this is going to be uh, quite the fun deck, but uh, honestly, I'd rather just show you guys than uh, actually hype it up for you guys right now. So with that being said, let's just get started. So to begin with our Digi Eggs, we have our four copies of Demi Merrimon. Just a really cool card to get your cards into your trash as soon as possible, but to also draw into the cards you actually need. But we're also playing here the Xiaomon. It's not really that amazing of a card, but still, if you're actually pairing it up with the Demi Merrimon, I mean, it's not bad. You're getting more cards in your trash anyway, so Xiaomon kind of gives you that extra bonus that you get. And the retaliation sometimes, your opponent actually forgets that your Xiaomon might be one of your starters, or one of your digi eggs underneath and when they recklessly attack they're just gonna lose out on their digimon so yeah definitely a really fantastic card all right so onto level threes we are going with the rush method here so that would be the uh demi devimon and also the two gobblemons as well as my uh four copies of electmon uh these are pretty much just all vanillas why because they're all cheap costs allowing you to essentially just bring out the strongest of your digimon possible uh i really like demi devimon for the fact that its play cost is actually only two making it really nice to bring out but everything else here uh, essentially have a zero digivolution cost, but they're also really big beat sticks as well. 4,000, 4,000, 5,000. These can essentially just get over level four Digimon incredibly easily. So it's definitely fantastic just to get the edge on your opponent. Uh, so yeah, definitely all really nice here and just really fitting of a purple deck. Uh, but of course, it's really mainly just to get these out as soon as possible as well as uh, the cards we see later on will definitely become quite relevant. So on to level fours, we're playing four copies here of Yokomon, again, just focusing on the rush and the fact that it's a vanilla card is really nice for the fact that it's Digivolution costs tend to be lower. And this is kind of applicable for almost every single vanilla Digimon out there. So with that being said, it's definitely highly worth playing. We're also playing over here, our Black Gutamon. Now this one, if you actually have it from security, at the end of the battle, you get to play for free. Very nice here, definitely allowing you to kind of get the edge on your opponent over there as well. And finally, we're playing four copies here of our Devimon. Fantastic card, Digiburst 2, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. Uh, just really nice. Again, getting a slight advantage over your opponent is definitely well worth it. And here's the thing. Digibursting at this particular stage in time is actually quite worth it because the thing is this. Once you get to your level 5s, the whole Digivolution cards underneath it become completely irrelevant. And uh, you'll understand why as I get to it. All right, so here's where the real fun actually begins. So the first card we're gonna go here with is the four copies of our Mummymon. And honestly, I'd rather just talk about it in conjunction with our four copies of the Arukinamon as well. So both these cards are quite amazing. Now you can see that obviously this one also allows you to pretty much digivolve from the green, but it doesn't matter. We're not really playing greens in this deck. We're playing a pure purple deck here, but that's fine because both of them have really amazing effects. So, essentially, when Mummymon attacks, you can pay three memory to play one Mallow Mildesmon from your trash without paying its memory cost, and then you delete this Digimon. So, you're essentially just paying three memory to switch this out for a Mallow Mildesmon from your trash. That's really powerful. Now, what about Arukinamon? So, this one is you pay three memory and you swap this out for a Mallow Myotismon from your hand. But of course, you delete this, of course. But uh, with that being said, you're essentially just going from level fives all the way into a level six, and that's just giving you a huge advantage in this particular point. So you can see that obviously the whole point of this deck is uh, just quickly getting out the strongest you possibly can for this particular deck. And uh, yeah, it's just really amazing. Our option cards will eventually also kind of play off with that as well. But uh, we're gonna set these two cards just up here because we're also gonna talk about four copies of Skull Sartomon. When digivolving, you may return one purple Digimon card from your trash to your hand. So you could either reuse any of these again, or you could potentially bring your Mallow Mardismon from your graveyard to your hand 
or from your trash to your hand so that you could utilize either the Arukinimon or the Momimon depending on what you actually have that's available. So this card definitely gives the nice synergy there. All of these also have really decent DP so definitely really nice and solid as well. But with that being said, our level 6s will include the 4 copies of the Mellow Mildest Mon. Now this is the main key card of our deck. Now, for all turns, when another Digimon is deleted, you get to gain 1 memory, which is not too bad, but the most important thing is that it has piercing. You delete one of your opponent's Digimon in play by attacking it, and then if you actually manage to kill it, then you actually go on to deal damage from security as well. Being at 12,000 DP, also really amazing for this particular deck itself. So ultimately, you are gaining quite a lot out of it. And the fact that you have piercing is a huge deal because like I said, your Mummymon and your Arukinimon can pretty much just swap out to bring out your Mellow Mildesmon either from your hand or even your trash, which means you're pretty much going to be dealing piercing damage almost every single turn that you're attacking. So you're getting through to your opponent's security really fast with the Mellow Mildesmon. And honestly, it makes me actually think why this card is actually a rare. Most rares and most commons tend not to be the best Pokemon or Digimon out there. Uh, but if you actually have like, um, you know, the foil cards, they tend to be the ones that most people would want to play because they're good. But this card could actually be uh, one of those contenders out there. Just having the piercing and having a mechanic or an engine that allows it to bring itself out so easily is what makes this card so good in this particular deck. But with that being said, we do kind of want to pile on with more things. And that would be the fact that we're playing also two, four copies here or rather uh, two different Myotismon. So in this case, we're playing Venom Myotismon. So this one, when Digivolving, up to two of your Digimon get retaliation until the end of your opponent's next turn. Very powerful because after one of your Digimon has actually been rested or suspended after their attacks, in this case, the Mellow Myotismon, the Venom Myotismon would give it retaliation. So your opponent would be a little... Uh, too, I guess, hesitant to pretty much attack into your Mellow Mardasmon, knowing that their Digimon would pretty much be going right away. So this also uh, acts as a defense mechanism as well, which is definitely very powerful. So ultimately, I do like that this whole deck is focused entirely on just the Myotismons, uh, because uh, that's pretty much what makes this deck really amazing. As for Tamers, we're playing four copies of Matt Ishta. When one of your Digimon is deleted, you may suspend this Tamer, gain one memory. I mean, think about this. Our level fives are essentially deleting themselves to bring out our Mellow Mildesmon. And on top of that, we get to gain a memory on top of it. I mean, that's really amazing, you know? So with that being said, this card incredibly synergizes with this deck. But finally, for our option cards, we are playing quite a high number of option cards, but it's well worth it. We are playing uh, the Earth Shakers. We're playing three copies of these. Hopefully you can actually use this during your security, but again, just allowing you to slow down your opponent's plays by getting rid of not only their level fours, but also our level five as well is uh, definitely quite powerful indeed. So yeah, this card is uh, definitely quite amazing indeed. Uh, but with that being said, we're also playing here the Necrophobia, three copies of those. Uh, you simply get to play a level five purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Um, of course, you want to activate this uh, through the security and not so much through its uh, play cost. And pretty much on your following turn, you can then switch out those uh, level fives for your Mellow Mildesmon, which is uh, definitely very powerful here. So that's essentially it for this particular deck. That's essentially it for this particular build and for its particular objective. So I do hope you guys actually enjoyed this particular deck. Uh, this deck is pretty much uh, the essence of a purple deck. It's such a good representation of it and it's built so simply. It does incredibly well. And um, normally I try to build decks that kind of stray a bit from the competitive scene, but dare I say this deck could actually work in a rogue uh, level, you know, like it's not necessarily the most competitive deck out there, but uh, I'll put it there at a rogue level because of how it actually performs against so many other decks out there. Uh, just by testing it out, it's absolutely amazing. 
and you'd be surprised at how consistent this deck is actually able of uh, you know pulling off these particular combos however if you guys enjoyed this video definitely drop a like and feel free to subscribe for more videos just like this but with that being said thanks for joining me today i hope you all have a fantastic day i'll see you all next time